In this video, I want to show you how you can visualize insights like average, minimum, and maximum lines in your charts in Power BI. We're going to go through how to do this step by step. And we're also going to look at how you can hook it up to a filter visual in order to pick and choose which analysis or insights you want to show in your charts. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's get into the demo straight away. So let's drag in the category name and total sales into a bar chart here just to show you how this looks like. And I'm going to just sort this by category name for now. And what this visualizes is the total sales by category of products that the Northwind company has sold uh, in its lifetime. So the data set that we're using is the Northwind data set, which is a fictional company that sells goods internationally. We have a few tables here um, that lists out some information about the orders themselves. So uh, how much were they, uh, who ordered the products and when, what the products, uh, what products were sold for each of those orders and the categories of each of those products. So the relationship between the tables have already been set up for us, so we don't really need to worry too much about that. And the only other thing that I have created here is a simple measure, total sales, which calculates the sales uh, for all of the orders by multiplying the quantity to the unit price of each of the orders. So the thing that we want to show in this bar chart is we want to show where the average, the minimum and the maximum lines are. So we want to show them as a sort of dotted line on this bar chart here. And the easiest way is to simply use the default ones that Power BI provides you. So if you go under the uh, analysis pane here, you can add something like a minimum line, which if you add, it will give you the lowest value, which you can see here. Or you can add a maximum line, which will show you where it is or it will show you, you have an average line here, which will um, show you where the average is for all of those sales by category. What's great about this analysis is that, first of all, it's automatically done for you and you can customize things like uh, what you want to show in terms of data labels, the color of the lines, maybe you want to show how it's show, like if it's dotted or not, and which series to use that calculation on. But the thing is you don't, quite have the control to change the values dynamically like the constant line which as you can see here we can change the value based on an expression which we can calculate in DAX. So what we need to do is to create a measure which calculates what each of these lines will be manually so the average min and max which is pretty simple enough to do in DAX. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these lines that we've just created And we're going to create a new, not the new column, but a new measure like this. So I'm going to just name this one average sales. And then we're going to use the average X iterator in the table. We'll show and get the values of the category name. total sales like this it's not right so if we change the constant line here and add fx and say base it on a measure here average sales it should give us the average sales which will be the same as what this one works out to be so it's in the same area. So that is pretty much correct. However, the difference and the reason why we're using constant line instead of average line is because we want to control this value to be hidden when it's not selected by a slicer, um, which is what, what is the point of kind of all this complication. So 
Let's first add that slicer and let me show you how we want this constant line to react to it. So I'm going to insert a new table here, uh, wherever it is. Yeah, modeling, new table, uh, selection. And we're just going to create a simple array here. I'm going to say average min max like this. And now it creates obviously a DAX table for us with all of those values. We simply put it in a slicer like this. Maybe put it as a horizontal selection like this. And now what you've created is a disconnected table that allows you to select and choose what kind of uh, insights you want to see in your bar chart. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to change the average measure, the one that we've just created, the average sales, to only show the average if average is selected in our slicer. And unfortunately, with the constant line, we can't really control anything else uh, in the constant line dynamically, like, for example, the color or even transparency dynamically by DAX. So the only thing that we can do is change the value to something else, like let's say zero to basically hide it. And for that, we can uh, do quite easily here. And the first thing that we'll need to do is we will put the average X calculation in our clipboard. So control X, and then we're going to start with an if statement. So we'll say in the if statement, if the selected value in our selection is equals to average like this, so we're saying if, if that is the selection, then do this calculation else, put it as zero. So what it will do now is you will see now in our constant line here, we have the uh, average sales on the zero value because it's not selected in our selection here. But if we select average, you'll see that it shows up in the right place, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we can simply do the same thing for the rest of the constant lines that we want to create. So let's say, I'm just going to copy this one to make it easier for us. New measure going to name this one minimum sales and minimum min is selected. We also have min x, which does the same thing. And then new measure, max sales. If max is selected, calculation is max x. These are all iterators, which I covered a long time ago if you wanted to check them out and see what they actually do. So under constant lines, we will add a few more here, add another one. This one will match to min. Then next one, we will hook up to max. There we go. So when you make a selection, Hopefully, yeah, it changes those values and changes based on your selection. Very easy. Now that all of them works, the last thing that you can do here is to hide the lines that are not currently selected. So all of these constant lines that are in the zero axis. And the easiest way to do that that I've found is to create another constant line on top of them, which is going to be, let's say, a solid one with no transparency and that creates a sort of mask that simply hides those constant values when they're not in use so that people don't think that uh, what are those lines for right so this is the kind of way that i have found to hide those ones that you have not selected and that's really it for this video i hope you now know how easy it is to Firstly, add these insights into your charts by using the default insights that Power BI provides. And hopefully you now know as well how you can create your own measures in order to customize and make it a little bit more interactive. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. 
If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.